What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is the Knights of Horror back with another video. If you didn't watch last week's video, or if you didn't watch the last video, it was the Jigsaw review. Make sure to check that out to see what I thought about Jigsaw. But this week, we are talking about the recap of Season 2 of Stranger Things. Without further ado, let's get this video started. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. in here with you. You're locked in here with me! What's going on ladies and gentlemen? This is Anthony from the Knights of Horror and today we are talking about Stranger Things 2. What we thought of it and what's been going on with it. Um, and it's funny because a lot of this season answered my un my questions I wanted answered. So uh, basically we're going to do a recap of all the questions I did and what I just thought about the j series in general. Um, and I'm super excited that they just announced they're doing a 3 and a 4, and then I think that's it for them after that, the fourth season. Which is really good, because I don't want them to be one of the shows where they're trying to just carry it on and carry it on and carry it on, and then after that, it just sucks. If they have four seasons planned, and they just want to do four seasons, then good for the Duffer Brothers. Um, I'm really happy that this show actually picked up and is doing really good. But let's get started. I have the list, and we're going to get started. Okay. So, uh, we're going to start over the list again. Um, if you didn't watch my Stranger Things What I Want video, uh, go ahead and click down in the description below. I'll leave the link. Um, if you haven't seen Stranger Things Season 2, uh, that's kind of like the prelude video of what I wanted to see in Stranger Things Season 2. So, go check that out. If you have seen Stranger Things Season 2 and you just kind of want to see what I thought about it and me answer my questions, then this is the video for you. Before I get started and go any further though, this video contains full and major spoilers for Season 2 of Stranger Things. If you have not seen it yet, or at all any of the Stranger Things seasons, pause this video now and go binge watch it. I guarantee you it's going to be one of the best binge watching experiences you have with the show. Alright guys, here we go. We're getting started. Uh, we're going to go with number 5 of what happened to Eleven. So, they do fully explain what happened to Eleven and you find out she's actually living with uh, the uh, sheriff after she broke out of the uh, um, the upside down and you see how she breaks out of the upside down it's supposed to be right after she defeated the Demogorgon and she breaks out of the upside down and we see how she does it she finds a portal that leads right into Hawkins middle school and she breaks out and finds her way back ended up finding uh, the sheriff which we do see he takes her in and takes care of her and uh, we do find out what happens to Eleven. She's all right. She's just been in hiding for all this time because he's afraid the government was going to take her away from him. And we kind of see like a father figure within um, the sheriff in this season. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what happens to the Demogorgon? We do find out what happens to the Demogorgon. The one that she kills, she kills. But the one that will spit out at the end of season one was actually a little baby Demogorgon who... Uh, one of the kids ends up finding finding and raising as like a little pet, and we do find out that this is not uh, something to fuck around with. We find out there's actually more Demogorgons uh, everywhere. There's like a little army of them. They're like dog. They're like they're like dog versions of Demogorgons, and they're everywhere. Then we find out there's actually a big ass shadow monster Demogorgon that is kind of like the like the king or queen of all of them. So we find out that there's more than what we thought was originally. We in the first season we only saw one. In the second season, they stepped it up big time, and we saw a lot. So, there's uh, there's still more out there. I don't think that's, that's the end of the Demogorgons. I think in Season 3, we're going to see them more. Um, we did see a little Season 2 set up at the very end, a little uh, kind of thing that the Shadow Creature is still alive, which we will get into much later. Um, number 3 was, uh, was the Sheriff working with the government the entire time? And... Um, you know, this kind of goes back to the uh, Eleven thing. He sort of was and he sort of wasn't. Um, he wasn't at one point because he wouldn't give Eleven up to the government, but at the same time, he was working with them because they were trying to get Will better. They would take Will to this government facility to go see this doctor who was kind of examining what was going on with him this entire time he was in there, making sure he was okay, but then we find out Will was actually not okay and he's actually seen shit um, uh, in our world. He gets little flashback, little visions that kind of take him back in the upside down and kind of traumatizes him. We see that 
a lot throughout this show and we see it when he gets possessed by the big shadow creature in the show um, we do find out that the shadow creature and stuff in the upside down can possess people and also that they can come into our world through uh, vessels so we see that the shadow creature comes to our world via will and uh, starts taking over and stuff and we find out that as they dig deeper into these caves um, we find out when they find the, the like the epicenter of where it's all going on when they burn it will fills that and it, it hurts will because the shadow creature fills that and it hurts the shadow creature so if whatever hurts the shadow creature it hurts will at the same time and it's funny because you know you see will go through all this stuff and you just can't help but feel sorry for will because he didn't really choose all this and he just kind of wants to live his life but at the same time he's getting fucked over by demogorgons and shadow creatures and it's just it's it's some shit uh number two uh what we expected from the kids this season so we saw that um they were all stepping up trying to take care of will make sure will lived his normal life and we really saw that the kids actually stepped up again this season to take care of what they had to take care of they uh, introduced a new character they called her mad max because she was one of the top players of dig dug so she listed her name as mad max and we also find out that, uh, you know, at first the kids are not willing to accept her, but then they eventually accept her at the end. Um, and as the, as far as the kids, you know, I mean, they they just trying to, like I said, they're just trying to take care of Will, make sure he lives his normal life. But then when the Demogorgons come, they already know what they will have to do, and they know what they, they're they in for. You know, they've, they've, they've dealt with these guys before, so they're just trying to deal with it again and win. That's all they're trying to do right now. And lastly, is Will stuck out in the outside and his mind, and the upside down in his mind? We do find out that Will can still get flashbacks of the upside down. He's actually going to the doctors to get it checked out, and we see, uh, like I said, the shadow creature gets possessed by him, and that's what kind of starts this whole thing. Gets more into depth, into gets more in depth of uh, you know the demogorgons and the shadow creature and stuff. So we do see a lot of things happening as far as Stranger Things. Um, with Will. Another thing I liked about this season a lot was they used a lot of 80s music and they referenced a lot of 80s things in this thing because it's supposed to be taking place I think in 1984 or 85 but it was awesome just to see that they got a soundtrack that was nothing but 80s. Other than that guys though this season was awesome. Eleven really stepped up. They gave her more speaking roles. They gave her more like of a talking uh, role in this season which I really liked because Last season, we didn't, she didn't talk a lot. She only said a couple of things, but this season, Millie Bobby Brown is actually stepping up, and I like how they're giving her more of a chance to be a, an actress. I, I believe she's a really good actress, and I think uh, I could see her in stuff from the, from the future as far as this show, because this show honestly launched everything for these kids, and these kids are all fantastic actors and actresses, and I just can't believe that uh, not a lot of series... Not a lot of networks in the beginning never wanted to pick up this show, and Netflix was like, yeah, we'll pick it up. So I bet a lot of networks are regretting that now. But um, as far as this season goes, this season was really good. And I just have to say that, uh, you know, I was just impressed with as far as the Demogorgons go. The monsters this season was awesome. You know, the twist ending was awesome. The soundtrack was awesome. The characters were awesome. It was just, it was just an awesome season. Um, other than that, guys, that was it for my Stranger Things 2 recap. Um... It's a really good show, and I'm, I'm really excited for season three. Oh, and so I forgot to mention, we got to see another uh, child, like Eleven, who is named Eight, who can make people see stuff within their mind. Um, I'm hoping we get to see more of the children. Maybe there's, uh, you know, one through seven, and then nine, ten, and then there's obviously eight and eleven. Um, I'm hoping we get to find out more of that. Maybe in the later coming seasons, they're going to all meet up or something like that and take on the whole Demogorgon army. That would be awesome, but... Uh, yeah, this season was really cool, and it had a lot of surprises, a lot of twists and stuff, so thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed Stranger Things Season 2 just like I did. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.